he sued me over a past mistake. I got a kid from my affair instead of my husband. Now I am ruined. Hey Reddit, I've been lurking around this community for a while, and I've always loved reading the posts and the advice people share here. It's a place where people always get given great advice. I never imagined that I'd be the one sharing my story with all of you. But here I am, desperate for some advice, and hoping that someone out there can help me figure out what to do next. My name is Jane, and I'm 35 years old. My husband's name is Ray, and he's 33. We've been married for about two years. Yes, I know, not a very long time. But before we tied the knot, we dated for seven years, so it feels like we've been together for ages. For the most part, our relationship has been nothing short of amazing. Ray has always been the perfect husband, the kind of man you only hear about in fairy tales or see in movies. Ray has taken such good care of me over the years. He's been my rock, my protector, and my best friend. From the moment we got married, he insisted that I didn't need to work. He wanted me to focus on being a stay-at-home wife and later a mom without having to stress about a career or anything else. He's always been so involved in our marriage, planning romantic nights, going out of his way to make me feel special, and just generally being the kind of husband every woman dreams of. I genuinely love Ray with all my heart. I respect him, and I've always appreciated everything he's done for me. But as perfect as he's been, I can't say the same about myself. There was a time when we hit a rough patch, and that's when I made a mistake. A mistake that I deeply regret, and that's now threatening to destroy everything we've built together. I would be lying if I said I never suspected that our daughter wasn't Ray's child. From the moment she was born, I noticed that she didn't resemble him at all. Sure, she looked like me in some ways, but as she grew, it became increasingly evident that she had some of my affair partner's facial features. The resemblance was undeniable, and it would eat at me every time I looked at her. By the time our daughter was approaching her third birthday, the doubt had become a persistent worry for me. I decided to get a DNA test done in secret. I knew that I might be confirming my worst fears, but the curiosity was killing me. I didn't tell Ray, and when the results came back, they confirmed that she was, in fact, not Ray's biological child. My heart sank. I didn't know what to do. I was paralyzed by fear and unable to think clearly. My mind raced with all the possible consequences. I told myself that if I revealed the truth, I would lose everything, my marriage, my family, my support system. Everyone would blame me for the deception and I would be left utterly alone. More than that, our daughter would lose the father she adored. Ray had always been a loving and devoted parent to her and she loved him dearly. The thought of her losing that was unbearable. In my desperation, I made the decision to keep the truth hidden. I convinced myself that it didn't matter if she wasn't Ray's biological child. What mattered was the love and bond they shared. Ray had embraced her as his own, and in my mind, that was enough. I told myself that I would never tell anyone, that the secret would die with me. I had quit my job shortly after finding out I was pregnant, choosing to focus on being a stay-at-home wife and mom. I had not seen my affair partner since I ended things with him, and I even heard that he moved away from town a year ago. It was good because he wouldn't be around to question or challenge my decisions. My affair partner was, frankly, someone I consider scum, and not someone who would fight for his place in our daughter's life. So I continued with my life, trying to maintain the facade of the happy family we were. I convinced myself that this was the best thing to do, even though I knew deep down that it was a terrible mistake. I managed to push the guilt and anxiety aside and focused on making sure Ray and our daughter continued to live their seemingly perfect life. Things continued to be great for a very long time. Ray and I were happy in our marriage. His relationship with our daughter was wonderful. And even with all the stress and guilt I was carrying, there were moments when I almost forgot about the mistake I had made. It felt like everything was settling into a routine Ray's family, on the other hand, had always had a problem with me. I won't even sugarcoat it. His sisters and his mom never liked me from the start. I think it had to do with the fact that Ray is her only son, and his mother is especially clingy. They would make subtle comments and jokes about how our daughter didn't look like Ray. It was as if they were constantly trying to highlight the differences. Ray, though, was always supportive. He'd brush off their comments and even threaten to cut them off if they didn't stop. 
He didn't want our daughter to overhear their negativity or grow up hearing it and have doubts about her place in our family. For a while, it seemed like the issue was behind us. I honestly believed that Ray would never find out the truth, and I let myself think that maybe, just maybe, everything would be all right. But then, everything fell apart. Ray was always such a solid rock in our lives, and I should have known he'd get suspicious at some point. Our daughter fell ill and had to be hospitalized for a while. When she needed a blood donation, we suggested that Ray do it. However, he wasn't a match, which made him more curious. Ray works in cybersecurity, so he doesn't know much about genetics or DNA. When he mentioned his confusion about not being a match, I quickly told him it was probably just because she matched me and not him. He seemed to buy it, and I ended up being the one to donate blood for our daughter. She got better and was discharged from the hospital, and for a little while, things seemed normal. But then, last night, everything changed. Ray confronted me in the evening. Our daughter was already in bed, and we were about to turn in ourselves when Ray handed me a document and asked me to read it. I looked at it and felt my world crumble. It was a DNA test result confirming that Ray was not our daughter's biological father. I was struck dumb. I didn't know what to say, how to defend myself. Ray didn't wait for me to say anything. He just stormed out of the house. Since then, I've been trying to reach him, calling him, texting him, but he hasn't responded. It's been a whole day now and I'm beyond worried. What if something has happened to him? I'm even thinking about going to the police to report him missing. My parents and siblings won't pick up their phones either. I feel utterly isolated. Our daughter is asking about Ray, and I don't know what to tell her. I'm at a loss and feel like I have no one to turn to. Reddit, please, if you have any advice, I'm begging you to share it. I know I've made terrible mistakes and I know I don't deserve forgiveness, but I still want to fight for my marriage, for my family. I love Ray and I don't want to lose him, but I don't know how to fix this. Update. Hey Reddit, it's me again. Wow, I have to say the backlash from my last post was intense. I get it, I messed up and I know I deserve the criticism, but can we ease up on the hate? I'm just a person like everyone else and I can't help but think that a lot of the hate comes from people who might be dealing with their own issues. Anyway, as for the update. Ray finally came home about two days after I posted. He was incredibly distant, but at least he was interacting with our daughter. I was terrified he might ignore her, but thankfully he didn't. He played with her, took her to preschool, and then told me we needed to talk. He said he'd be back after picking up our daughter and we'd have a serious discussion. When he returned, he dropped the bombshell. He said he wanted a divorce and was going to sue me for emotional distress and paternity fraud. He was adamant about removing his name from our daughter's birth certificate, and he made it clear that he wanted me out of his life. I was floored. I started crying, not knowing what to do. He said I had to pack up and leave before picking up our daughter from preschool and then take her to my parents' house. He didn't want to see us again, except in court. It felt like he was operating on autopilot. He ignored me when I spoke, and he didn't even react to my tears. He made sure I left the house, and he even took the car, so I had to call an Uber. By the time I got to my parents' place, Ray had already cleared out our joint account. My parents were stunned to see me, and, naturally, were not pleased when they found out what I had done. They were angry and blamed me entirely, calling me a cheater and saying I brought this on myself. They only agreed to house me because of our daughter. So living with my parents has been less than ideal. They've been supportive to an extent, but there's a lot of tension, and the atmosphere is anything but comforting. Ray and I haven't spoken since. It's been about three days now, and our daughter keeps asking about him. I don't know what to tell her. I feel lost and confused. I'm trying to piece together how everything I worked for could collapse in just a few days. Update. Hey Reddit, it's me again. Sorry it took me a while to update. Things have been really confusing and overwhelming. I've been trying to figure out what to do next, and it feels like I'm just stuck. I reached out to Ray, hoping he might at least consider visiting our daughter or something, but he flat out refused. I honestly thought he might just ignore my message, but he responded and said he wouldn't because she isn't his daughter. He also warned me that I'd be served with legal papers soon, so I need to prepare myself. I'm honestly scared about what's coming next. My parents have said they're going to try talking to him directly. 
They think it's better to talk face to face than over the phone, so they plan to go to his house when they know he'll be there. Ray has a pretty regular schedule, so they shouldn't have too much trouble catching him. My parents are pretty good at persuading people, so I'm hoping they can convince him to at least talk to me or work something out. Other than that, there's not much new to report. I've seen a lot of comments suggesting I should get a job, and yes, I know, I will definitely look for work. Even if Ray were to forgive me, I'm determined to get a job because I never want to be in a situation like this again. Right now, I'm relying on my parents since I don't have any savings and no job. So, finding employment is a priority for me, and I'm already in the process of job searching. Thanks for all the advice and patience. I'll update you as soon as I have more news. Update. Hey Reddit, I promised I'd update you after my parents talked to Ray, and here I am. Unfortunately, things didn't go as I'd hoped. Like many of you predicted, Ray refused to listen to my parents. I really should have taken your advice and told them not to try talking to him. Ray was firm and unwilling to hear them out. He told them he's done with me and our daughter. He made it clear that he can't accept being a father to a child that isn't his. And the fact that I'd lied to him for years until he discovered the truth only made things worse. My parents tried to persuade him to at least settle for a divorce and avoid legal action but he was adamant about suing. He said he wanted me to stop texting him and trying to get him to visit our daughter. So it seems he's completely done with us. I'm struggling to come to terms with all of this. It feels like everything I built over the past few years is crumbling in a matter of weeks. It's barely been three weeks since I moved in with my parents and things have spiraled out of control so quickly. I still don't know how to explain this to my daughter. I keep telling her that Ray is away on a trip but I'm running out of excuses. Ray also told my parents to expect legal papers soon. I'm honestly at a loss for what to do next. On top of everything, I know I need to start looking for a job. I've asked my parents if they know of any openings at their workplaces, and they said they'd help me look into it. I'm hoping something will come up soon. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been a while since my last update. I know many of you have been asking for news, but honestly, I didn't have much to share and I've been incredibly busy. I wanted to wait until I had something significant to update on. Right now, I'm in a whirlwind of confusion and trying to get my life back on track. So here's what's been happening. Even though I'm not in a solid job yet, I've managed to pick up a small side gig. It's not much, but it's something and helps with the bills. I've been trying to stay focused on job hunting and figuring out my next steps. Today was a particularly rough day I got served with legal papers from Ray, and it hit me hard. I guess he wasn't joking when he said he'd sue me. He's not just asking for a divorce. He's suing me for emotional distress and paternity fraud. I'm still in shock. It feels like my world has come crashing down, and I'm left trying to pick up the pieces. I reacted poorly and sent him a message, lashing out and blaming him for everything. I told him that this was exactly why I didn't want to tell him the truth in the first place, because I knew it would lead to this. I told him he's broken our daughter's heart, and I don't think I'll ever forgive him for that. I'm scared and overwhelmed. It feels like I've lost everything. My marriage, my family, and the life I knew. I never imagined things would spiral this badly. I'm not sure how to fix this, or if things will ever get better. The constant messages and demands for updates are adding to my stress, and I'm finding it hard to cope, so please tone it down a bit. I appreciate the few who have been supportive, but please understand that I need space right now. I'll update when I have something meaningful to share. Update. Hey Reddit, I wanted to share something that's been weighing heavily on me. I really need to vent. Ray's mom and sisters are absolutely overjoyed about everything that's happened. They've been relentlessly sending me messages, calling me all sorts of names, cheater, horrible person, you name it. I've been blocking their numbers, but new ones just keep popping up and the harassment doesn't seem to stop. I'm at my wit's end trying to handle this. I'm in the process of reaching out to Ray. I'm hoping he might help me address the situation with his family and tell them to stop. I'm feeling completely overwhelmed and exhausted. I'm struggling to keep everything together and the constant negativity is making me feel crazy, sick and hopeless. Through all this, my daughter remains the one positive thing in my life. She's my rock and my reason for trying to stay strong, but it's hard to balance everything when I'm dealing with so much emotional and mental strain. I don't know what else to do or how to make this stop. 
I just needed to vent and let you all know how much this is affecting me. Update. Hey Reddit, I know many of you have been asking for an update, and I appreciate your concern. I'm not entirely sure what you're expecting me to say, but here's where I'm at right now. The hate messages from Ray's mom and siblings have stopped, thankfully. I reached out to him and he must have talked to them. I've got a job interview lined up for next week. I really need this job to help stabilize my situation. So if you could wish me luck, I'd really appreciate it. On another note, things are quite tough financially. My parents don't have much saved up and we're lucky to even own the house we live in. It's been a struggle to make ends meet. And now with the legal issues piling up, I'm feeling the pressure. I know I need a lawyer to handle the lawsuit and help me navigate this mess, but the cost of legal representation is scary. I'm trying to figure out how to manage this. And I'm also doing my best to stay afloat, but it's been challenging. I'll update when I have more news, but for now I'm focused on getting a job or even more side gigs so I can afford legal representation. Update. Hey Reddit, it's me again. I promised I'd update after the interview and unfortunately I didn't get the job. I really needed that position, but things didn't work out. I'm still job hunting and it's been very tough. In the meantime, I'm juggling a few side gigs to make ends meet. I'm currently working multiple jobs just to cover bills, feed my daughter and afford her expenses, and contribute to household expenses. My parents have been helping as much as they can, but they have their own financial limits, so I've had to step up and take on as much work as possible. On the legal front, my parents have offered to help with some of the costs for a lawyer, which is a relief. I'm really looking forward to putting all this legal trouble behind me. I know Ray probably won't forgive me, and that's something I've come to terms with. Right now, I just want to focus on moving forward and trying to rebuild my life. Update. Hey Reddit, I didn't want to update until I had something solid to share, and I've been avoiding it because of the relentless hate comments and nasty DMs. Despite that, people kept asking for an update, so here's where things stand now that the legal trouble is mostly over. First off, the divorce has been finalized. It was a whole process of its own. I didn't get anything from the divorce, no assets or debts to split. The tricky part was figuring out what to do about our daughter. Since Ray's name was still on the birth certificate, he was legally considered her father. So while I got custody, Ray was obligated to pay child support. He wasn't happy about it at all, but he didn't have a choice. He only managed to make a few payments before the emotional distress and paternity fraud claims went to court. As many of you guessed, Ray won the case. His lawyers argued that what I did was premeditated and cruel, that I lied to him knowingly and intentionally. My lawyers tried to argue that it was a mistake and that everyone makes mistakes, but unfortunately that didn't hold up. I ended up having to pay Ray a significant amount of money which drained almost all of our savings. So that's where things stand. I probably won't be updating again. I'm posting this in a rush because if I don't do it now, I might never get around to it. Thanks to those who supported me, however few they might have been, and I hope this is the last of it. Update. Hey Reddit, I didn't plan to update again, but I've been flooded with DMs asking for more details, saying my last update was rushed and unclear. I'll try to clear up a few things, though honestly I'm not thrilled about being here. So, as I mentioned before, Ray won the case. I had to pay him a significant amount of money which wiped out nearly all our savings. He also got his name removed from our daughter's birth certificate, so legally he is no longer considered her father. This means he's no longer obligated to pay child support. He's completely cut ties with us, blocked us on all social media, and has no contact with us. This situation has left us in a dire financial situation. We were on the brink of homelessness for a while. My parents have also been struggling to support us, and it's been incredibly tough. I've been working multiple jobs just to keep us afloat, and it's taken a huge toll on me physically. I've lost a significant amount of weight because of the stress and exhaustion from juggling so many jobs. The impact on my health is very noticeable. I'm barely managing to get by, and it's so hard seeing myself change so drastically because of everything that has happened. I'm doing my best to stay strong for my daughter, but it's really challenging. I hope to find some stability soon and get things back on track, both financially and personally. On top of that, the transition has been hard on my daughter. She misses her dad and has cried for him repeatedly. I'm planning to get her into therapy when I can afford it, but right now, funds are tight. I also feel heartbroken at the thought of my daughter growing up without a father figure. 
It is weighing heavily on me. I feel like I've let her down in the worst way possible. And that I've even considered reaching out to my former affair partner, thinking maybe he could somehow step in and be a positive male influence in her life. But every time I entertain that idea, I end up backing away. I'm terrified of making things even more complicated and potentially causing more harm. I know it's my fault that things ended up this way. I just want to ensure my daughter's well-being and stability. I I'm aware I'll have to explain everything to her when she's older, and that thought is overwhelming. I don't know what else to say. Things have been finalized, and I've lost a lot. It's all my fault, and I know it. Reddit can be a pretty toxic place, and updating here feels like a painful reminder of everything that's gone wrong. And yes, I know it's my fault, but that doesn't mean I want to be constantly reminded of it.